What's going on YouTube? This is Daybreaksum48 coming back at you guys with my favorite time. It is toy haul time. Now, like I told you guys in my update video, this is going to be part one of my toy haul. Uh, I'm probably going to have this at the end of the month because that's when everything is coming in. So hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned for that. But let's get started with part one. So first thing I would like to show off are some Marvel Legends because that's the only thing I was able to find these on this past week. So first let's start off with some of the older figures. We have the Miles Morales Spider-Man. Now, I had to pick this one up because, as you guys know, I love my Avengers setup. I am collecting all Avengers members and X-Men members, and I just love it. So, had to pick this one up. I got this one at my local Dwayne Reed, which is also Walgreens, and he was going for $14 because he was on sale. So, gotta love sales. So, there you go. All right. Sticking to the Spider-Man theme, we have Peter Parker Spider-Man, and I got this one once again to at Dwayne Reed, and he was also fourteen dollars. So really, really can't complain about this. They use the same exact body mold, which is fine. Uh, I love it. I needed a little bit more comic version. The Spider-Man figure that I currently have is from the old Spider-Man movie. And so it's a little outdated, so I wanted something a little bit newer. So there you go. All right, the next two figures I'm sure everyone's looking for, or next two figures, this wave everyone's looking for. It is none other than the X-Men wave for 2017. So, you ready? The only two figures I was able to find, Old Man Logan and Polaris. Now, if you watch that update video, uh, I told you that past uh, that week, I was going crazy looking for these guys, and I was just always unlucky. Every place I went, every single target I went to, they were all sold out. And the funny thing is, I left the DCPI number in the the description box and people in New Jersey were able to find them and I was like what the heck like where did you guys find these because I still can't find them um, I would go to these targets and it would clearly say that they have them in stock and then when I get there nope nothing there just all old stuff so really disappointing but I have a friend in California who's actually who was able to cop a um, Cyclops figure for me. So yeah, shout outs to Dan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you uh, He has sent it in the mail, so I should be getting it relatively soon So that will probably be in this part two of my toy haul now. There you go now Wolverine He's clearly not there because I just had to get this guy out of the box Wanted to see what he was all about and he looks freaking great. Love it. So I've got old man Logan and Polaris and that's pretty much it that is part one of this massive toy haul I hope you guys enjoy stick around we're not done yet part two is right around the corner all right guys I'll be back okay guys and we are back with part two of our unboxing videos for the month of February. So as you guys can clearly see, we have one small package here from AmiAmi, Ami, and then one I got from a close friend that I made here on YouTube. Uh, he said he found a Cyclops figure around his area, so that's probably what's in that package. So we're gonna start off with the one that I just said, the Cyclops, here we go. Now in New Jersey, at least for me, I've had no luck whatsoever when it comes to finding the new Marvel Legends of the X-Men wave. Uh, and it sucks because after I gave out the DCPI number, uh, everyone was able to find it. And they're like, oh, thank you, Daybreak. Uh, I was able to find it in New Jersey. I'm like, really? Really? Is that just how unlucky I am? Like, I've looked everywhere. I went to all the different places that said they had it in stock. I would go ask them for it. They did not have it. 
Uh, so I'm just like, this is ridiculous. But hey, that's why we have friends. And sure enough, yes, 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 yes. Here we go. We have the new Marvel Legends Cyclops. And this is the Jim Lee version, obviously. And yeah, I'm super stoked to have this one. He's obviously going into my uh, X-Men display, so super stoked. Now, the only one I'm really, really looking for would be probably like Sunfire, and then maybe these two. Colossus, I don't really care about. Polaris and Old Man Logan, I already have, so we should be good to go. Now, the Warlock, I probably do want to complete, so I might buy the head off eBay or something. So, there you go. So that is one figure that I got. The next figure I was actually able to find at my local Walmart and it is none other than Dark Hawk. Now, don't know anything about this guy, but when I saw his design, I was like, man, I gotta start looking up this guy and see what he's all about. And sure enough, I'm a fan. I, he's a very, like a minor character. But I'm liking his stories, and I think it's pretty cool. I just like his design overall, so that's that. All right, I'm going to move these off to the side because we have to bring in our Ami Ami package. Now, this one I have been waiting for for a good minute. So here we go. Let's get started. So what's in the package? Well, that's a surprise. Okay, so here we go. Will we get a new Ami Ami card? And yes, we will. So, bam, that is the new Ami Ami card. Looking pretty freaking gorgeous. And then, there you go. Okay, so lots of Ami Ami paper. And it's, as you guys can clearly see, a small package. This is the size of my hand compared to the actual package. So it can't be that many figures, right? So, let's get started. The first one is something that I'm super excited about. It is none other than Leafa, and this is number Figma number 314. It is Leafa from Sword Art Online. As you guys know, I love SAO, and I've been collecting um, this franchise, this line, since the very beginning. And yeah, now to have finally a Leafa figure. It's 2017, and now we finally get this Leafa figure. Hey, better late than never, right? So super excited about that. A review of her will be going up soon, so stick around for that. And then the other figure that I picked up from this wave, or not this wave, from this month, it is none other than Usopp from the Variable Action Heroes lineup. Oh my goodness, I am super stoked to have this. This guy, uh, I don't know this version of him. He's like all jacked out of his mind. I don't know when he becomes like this, but I love the character. This guy is freaking hilarious. So the fact that they made a version of this guy, uh, I'm thrilled. I really, really do like this character. He's just funny and it's just good times. So, yep, there you go. Uh, let me put everything else back in the shot. So these were the four figures that I was waiting on. I know it's not that big of a haul compared to some of the other ones I've had in the past, but hey, nevertheless, we got some pretty freaking cool stuff. The Cyclops, unbelievable. I can't wait to get this guy out of the package. Usopp, my man, he looks freaking fantastic. Uh, he's jacked out of his mind, so I don't know when this is happening, but I can't wait to see that and then lastly well not lastly we have the leafa which i'm super stoked about and then lastly we have dark hawk so there you guys have it thank you so much for sticking around and watching both parts of my haul videos uh, for all of you new subscribers out there thank you thank you thank you you guys are the best um you guys the people who are sub to me who comment and just uh, give me all that awesome positive feedback you guys are the world to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep doing what you do. And yeah, I will continue what I do. So with that said, stick around, stay tuned. These three, or maybe even these four, will be reviewed on my channel 
this week. So super excited for that. Lots of good stuff coming my way or coming my way and your way. So stay tuned and thank you so much for watching once again. This is Daybreak Sound 48. I'm signing out. Peace.